description box or bag. Uh, oh, I just realized that yesterday there was a spider there and now there isn't. So that means the spider somewhere else. <laughs> um. What's up guys, my name is Kelsey and today I'm bringing you a special presentation on the vlog channel because I want to dive into some meal kits. Now I know living alone can be a little bit tough and especially when that comes to buying groceries. I feel like I never get to use up all of my groceries and um, by the end of the day I'm just feeling like a little drained. I've been eating the same thing. I've been wasting food because I can't eat it all fast enough and it's stressing me out. So I decided that I wanted to take a dive into meal kits and see what um, what all the buzz is about. There's so many different brands and kinds and I didn't know which one was the best. And luckily for the first time pre for pretty much every single meal kit, you get like a crazy discount. I got to eat for half price for like six weeks while I tried out pretty much every meal kit so that you don't have to. All right, let's eat some food. Our first box is Hello Fresh. You guys probably know Hello Fresh. Um, it's definitely really popular. So let's dive into uh, opening this here box. Okay, so this week from Hello Fresh, I have a sweet potato curry, a roasted Mediterranean veggies with burrata, and lastly, a oh my god, zatar roasted carrots and chickpeas. Anyways, let's get on to cooking. I think tonight I want to do the... Okay, let's start with the za'atar. This is how the recipe books come. It's a very pretty image. Very nice way of displaying it. I wish I could get cooking this now, but I have to run to the gym. So when I come back from the gym, we're gonna make this dinner. I just got home from the gym. I'm really tired. It's really late. It's like quarter to ten, which is not the most ideal time to be having dinner, but... You know, we gotta work with what we got. This is why I have this meal plan, because this is just crazy. Imagine I have to cook from scratch right now. No, 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 It says that I need to wash and dry all of the produce. That seems a little silly. It's like meal prep. That's half the battle, washing it. It's so annoying. So for HelloFresh, the veggie meal plan, which is what I'm steering towards for all of these, is the veggie, is about $12.25 per meal, so per serving. But the overall range between all of the different plans ranges from like $10.25 to $12.50. HelloFresh delivers both to Canada and the USA. The packaging is a really important subject for me. That's like the main reason why I wouldn't even do meal kits is not even necessarily the price, but just the fact that the packaging is so wasteful and if you know me don't like to waste things or throw things out and unfortunately with hello fresh there was a lot of packaging and yes it was pretty much all recyclable like they said you can recycle like the freezer packs can be like cut and drained down the sink but it is still a lot of recycling in the end for dietary options they do have vegetarian as well as like standard meal kits I didn't really notice this, but apparently you can customize. So like you can do a standard meal kit, but then say that you don't eat pork or you don't eat beef, which would be helpful for me because I am a pescatarian, but I was doing veggie for this. And they will also have limited options of no dairy, no gluten, and no nut meals. But again, like I don't know how much variety you're gonna have or if you'll be even able to fill up an entire week with no nut recipes. They just have a couple of options. As far as taste goes, I really, really loved the HelloFresh meals. I thought they tasted really good. Gave most of them between an eight and a seven. I had the Zatar roasted carrots and chickpeas, the roasted Mediterranean vegetables and burrata, as well as a sweet potato curry. The downside though was the prep time. So I found that the recipes said that they were between like 30, 35 minutes but they ended up taking me on average about 45 minutes and I don't think I'm the slowest cook, but I don't know why it was taking me so long. It also uses up a lot of pans too. I mean, I wanted ideally to be washing less dishes at the end of this and for this to take a shorter period of time than it would take me normally to cook or at least the same amount of time. But like 45 minutes, I feel like it's a lot of time. The veggie dishes had a lot of cheese. I think that was their way of getting in the protein and I like cheese, but I don't love cheese and I don't like a lot of cheese and I don't like it to be like 
the majority of the protein source. The taste was really great. I was pleasantly surprised with that. So now that we've gotten HelloFresh out of the way, our next box is Chef's Plate. So this one just arrived and um, we will open it up here. Honestly, the packaging is so similar to HelloFresh. You have your like recipe books and your little info packet and then you have your paper bag for each of your meals. And then it says lift here for your protein. Ooh. But I don't have any protein because it's veggie, so. So this week we have a mushroom risotto, a Asian firecracker cauliflower, and a Thai coconut curry pasta. Let's get eaten. Overall, I found Chef's Plate to be a little bit less tasty than HelloFresh, but it was actually um, way cheaper. I didn't realize this. But the meal range is from about $9 to uh, $13. And the veggie meal plan that I got was $10 a meal. This one is a Canada only one, so sorry for anybody else watching from other countries, but a lot of these are might be Canadian focused because I feel like these meal kits kind of even work best when they're local. The packaging was like the same as HelloFresh as I think a lot of these subscription services are. They like are all recyclable, but it is a lot of like cardboard and um, plastic still, which is unfortunate. This is how much recyclable material there was from the Chef's Plate packaging. Chef's Plate doesn't really do the whole gluten-free vegan thing or even guarantee that there's no allergens like nuts or dairy. Um, so it's kind of just for like vegetarians, um, standard meals. And then also you can customize with this one too. So um, you can say that you only want like certain types of meats, which is good if you're like a pescatarian or don't eat pork or something. I feel like the meals were a little bit easier to make than something like HelloFresh, um, which was good that they took less time. But again, they didn't taste as good and I don't think they were as creative. Like I found a lot of the meals have like same um, like things like mixing in the spinach. I was just like, this is like the same. I did this for like two of the meals. So the mushroom risotto was like a six out of 10 on taste. The Asian uh, firecracker cauliflower was like a five out of 10 in my opinion. And then the Thai coconut curry pasta was six out of 10. And overall the recipes were easier. We're on to our next box. And this one is going to be the good food box. I got it the day I was supposed to, kind of the time I was supposed to. But I just happened to not be home and I didn't go home that evening. So um, this was outside for like a good like 18 hours and I have a lot of raccoons in my neighborhood. So they tried to get into it. This is like as far as they got. Luckily they didn't get into it. They actually were like open this though, which I found surprising that like did he like pick his little claw and was like but didn't really get into the food which is really good. Packaging is like the same as always, but this week we have, oh my God, I can't even say that. Mi, mi gong, mi goreng, goreng with fresh Shanghai noodles and one pan poached haddock, shishuka, and roasted cauliflower again. I swear these companies love their roasted cauliflower. Um, so the only thing is, this time um, I did go for one pescatarian option because I was able to customize and I do eat fish. Um, but I'm a little concerned because I did leave this outside for like a while. And it is still cold in Canada, but I'm a little concerned. The fish comes like in the bottom here. And I don't know if I should eat it. Would you eat fish that you left outside? That was, it had freezer packs. I would open it and smell it. Smell it, good idea. This will probably be the first meal that I make, so we will see. So good food ended up being $9.83 per meal, but the range is from $8.75 to $13. The delivery area for good food, as well as the fee, is free in most parts of Canada. And I gave the ease of ordering four out of five because the website was pretty simple to use and I got the delivery on time where it was supposed to be. Honestly, the packaging was pretty similar to the previous uh, boxes that I tried. It's kind of like you can either send back or dispose of the um, 
ice packs and a lot of stuff is packaged in like cardboard or plastics that are recyclable. As far as their diet options, they had some customization available as far as like the meats go and stuff. And they did have vegetarian options as well as some gluten free options. Although if you do have a serious allergy such as peanuts, etc., they can't guarantee that it's free of allergies as it's all made in like the same facility. As far as the meals went, which I guess is the main reason we're all here, uh, I didn't find that the meals with good food were as great. I found them kind of the easiest meals to make out of all the kits so far, but the taste was kind of lacking for me. The shashuka haddock and pita was pretty good, honestly. The, oh God. Mi goreng with Shanghai noodles was also okay. And then the roasted cauliflower with romesco sauce, I gave like a pretty low score, like three out of 10. And overall, I used like way less dishes to make these meals, but in return, the meals were a little bit less interesting. And I found that the portion sizes were a little bit off. Like I had like way too much cauliflower or like way too much of this, not enough of this. So I don't know if they were proportioned properly, which is kind of the reason why we're ordering the meal kits is so that we're getting the right proportions every time and we're not wasting food. Some interesting notes about good food is that when they deliver a box to you, they're also delivering a meal to a child in need, which is great. So all that being said, um, good food was okay. Don't know if I prefer it over the other meal boxes, but next up we have Fresh City, y'all. Looks like we have a freezer pack here. A hot and cold freezer pack, interesting. This is a grilled beet and feta. Then we also have uh, lemon chevre with penne and green. And then last up, the miso glazed haddock. And unlike all the other ones, this comes in its own insulated reusable bag, which I'll tell you more about later. Honestly, this tastes kind of healthy. Also, I never have plain rice. Like there's no sauce on this rice and that is not okay. So for Fresh City, we're looking at about $9.75 for the veggie meals and the range is about $9.75 to $12.25. For the delivery fee and area, it was a $3 delivery fee, although I think they bring it via bike which is great. And unfortunately the area is only the GTA, which I know kind of sucks, but um, it is one of the most sustainable options that I've seen so far as far as these meal kits go. The website was not that easy to maneuver. I was quite confused. I actually had to reach out to customer service to help me out with something. As far as the packaging goes, the actual like insulated case was reusable which is great so they're gonna charge you a bag fee if you don't return your reusable bag everything else is just like cardboard or plastic and recyclable when it comes to diet options fresh city has you covered so they had omnivore they had one that was called meat i guess maybe that's just like heavy on the meat they had vegan they had vegetarian they had pescatarian which is cool because that's me um, and they also had a gluten-free designated kit, but for omnivore. But here's where I was a little bit sad. I was not in love with the food with Fresh City. And I'm really sad. I really, really want to like it. But for the beet and grilled cheese, um, I'm only giving that a one out of 10 because I just found that the bread was not the best. It was kind of like falling apart. I don't know if it's my oven and if it is, my bad. But I just found that the beets like weren't like roasted enough when I put them in for the amount of time. And then the carrot soup, same thing. I wasn't able to like blend the soup up enough, I guess. And it was like crunchy and I literally just ended up throwing it out and I like kind of half ate the beets and stuff. So that was um, kind of a waste of money and I didn't enjoy that meal. The miso glazed haddock was okay. And when I ended up bringing the lemon chevre pasta to work, <laughs> Daniela actually said, is that from your meal kit? Cause it kind of just looks like something you would have whipped up. And I'm like, I know. It wasn't anything special, which these things don't have to be special, but I do definitely want them to be easy to make and enjoyable to eat. And I just wasn't overly impressed with the food on this one. Also something else that I didn't love with Fresh City is that when they listed out the recipes, they didn't really say like, start with this. It just wasn't in the right order. So I found that I was like prepping vegetables when I really should have like 
preheated the oven or like started something else. It just wasn't in the best order to um, make the whole thing go by faster. Some really cool things about Fresh City though are like they are by far kind of the best as far as sustainability goes and eating local and organic. But maybe I need to try some other meals because I wasn't loving the ones I tried just yet. Even though the beet one was like rated as like most popular. I disagree. Either way, next up we have Cook It. We are going to have to hold right here because um, I didn't get to try every single meal kit. I need to take a quick break. So I couldn't review every single meal kit available in Canada, but I will have a part two where I'll reveal the last couple of ones. But I hope you enjoyed part one. I hope you um, got a little gist of what every single box is like. And yes, overall there is a lot of waste, but I am also like, looking within and wondering like how much waste there is when you are shopping at the grocery store too because even though you might not see that box that like all the lettuce came in um there probably is a box that was shipped that lettuce was shipped in and also a lot of these kits pretty much every single kit uses local produce when at the grocery store you're like buying imported food so i mean it's really hard to tell which is the best decision, but I don't know which is my favorite yet or what's gonna be my routine going forward. I definitely need to finish the rest of the boxes, but I will give you a full comprehensive breakdown in my next video of what I think I'm gonna do moving forward. And um, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in part two or in a regular vlog or in the main channel video or on the podcast. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I'll see you next time.